There are so many options when it comes to over-ear headphones, but many Apple users just default to the AirPod Max headphones and skip any other brands, even though they could be missing out in a very big way. And I'm not just gonna tell you what I think about these headphones, I'm also gonna show you. These are the brand new Bose QuietComfort Ultra headphones. Now I've been using them for the last month or so, and today I'm gonna run you through four key areas which will help you answer the question of which ones should you buy. And I'm gonna be using this fantastic gadget that actually lets you experience what I'm hearing. Now those four areas are sound quality, noise cancellation, transparency, and features. So first up, sound quality. So for these tracks, I found the Bose to be a little flatter compared to the AirPod Maxes. The sound from the AirPod Max is richer, there's more clarity. And I did even try and tweak this with the Bose EQ inside the Bose app, but I couldn't get it to sound as clear as the AirPod Maxes, especially in the Linkin Park track where everything's just really loud, but you can still hear separation in the instruments. And both of them had some really nice bottom ends to them, though you can kind of tune that further if you wish. Apple has some stock EQ presets you can choose from. I tend to leave mine set to either off or on the rock setting. I personally like feeling the kick drum and the Bose has this like three stage EQ, which you can tweak to your own preference. Also, I hope you're enjoying a review where you can actually, well, A, hear what the headphones sound like and B, listen to real music instead of like generic royalty free music. We actually found a place where you can pay to license these tracks so we can use them. So if you're enjoying this, I'd hugely appreciate you giving a like and subscribe down below this video. And if you are considering buying either of these headphones, there'll be links down below to help support the channel as well. So for this part, the sound quality part of the video, I'm actually gonna give this one by a very, very thin margin to the AirPod Maxes. But let me know what you think down in the comments down below. But it's not all about the sound quality of the headphones. Sometimes you're also gonna wanna use the built-in mics and speak to someone. This is testing the Bose QuietComfort Ultra headphones. How does it I sound? I think it's pretty good. Is it trying to noise cancel and stuff like that? No, I haven't got any noise on in the background, but let's, let me switch over. Okay, so this is testing the AirPod Max's uh, headphones. Do they sound better or worse than the Bose QuietComfort Ultras? I think they definitely sound better. They're louder and clearer, but they almost sound like, like processed in a way. Mm, I think if you swap back, it would be good to get another. Oh, now we are talking on the Bose QuietComfort Ultras. Is it less processed? Okay, so there it was jumping in and out a little bit. The AirPods are way more consistent in their sound. Now, as someone who has traveled an uh, awful lot recently, including a few long haul flights, I've actually been able to properly test these headphones for their noise cancellation, because one of the best ways I've found to use these headphones are actually to help you sleep whilst on a flight by just locking out as much of the background noise as possible. Now, on our recent flights to the US and back again, our kids even wore a pair of these headphones to help them sleep. And both, to be fair, the AirPod Maxes and the Bose headphones did a great job. I don't think you'd be disappointed with either of these headphones. Now, the only problem with traveling with, well, literally three pairs of headphones is the amount of space that they took up in my bag. Like, no joke, traveling as a family, I had headphones, iPads, laptops, chargers. Like, my bag was the heaviest of all of our bags. So, an alternative would definitely be to swap over-ear headphones for in-ear headphones, like the Technics AZ80s, who are kindly sponsoring this video. And after some quick research, I realized that these earbuds aren't something you should dismiss. Like, every review comments on how good the audio quality is from these earbuds with what they're calling their signature Technics clear sound. And they also include three-way audio to connect to three devices at the same time. Uh, so that's any combination of laptop, phone, tablet, watch, TV. It also supports LDAC and high resolution audio. The design is shaped to fit into the groove in your ear. And you also get a choice of seven 
different ear tips, which is far bigger than the three you normally get with other earbuds. There's also a solid seven hours of battery life with active noise cancellation enabled, Qi wireless charging, and an app to customize features. And you get their trademarked Just My Voice technology, which uses eight separate mics, plus advanced wind and noise reduction to minimize any background noise and enhance your call quality. You can pick them up using the link down below this video. But now let's talk about noise cancellation with these two sets of headphones. Again, these headphones are really, really close to each other in terms of noise cancellation, but I would say that the Bose here have the ever so slight edge over the AirPods. On to transparency. How easy is it to hear what is going on around you when wearing these headphones? Maybe you want to order a coffee or just speak to someone in passing without having to take your headphones off, or you just want to be able to hear your surroundings whilst also listening to music. Maybe you're also riding a bike and you want to hear the cars. And the one thing I immediately noticed here with is the Bose, there is this high pitched like white noise sound that you get, which you can hear if you're in a, you know, like a quiet room like this. It's not really a problem when there's other things happening around you, but it is quite off-putting when it's quiet. And I would say that the AirPods Maxes feel a little more natural and less processed than the Bose do. It just feels more like I'm not wearing any headphones at all. Whereas on the Bose, it still sounds good. You can of course like clearly hear everything, but it just sounds more processed than the AirPods do, as their transparency has always been very, very good. So both of these headphones are sounding very familiar so far, but here is where some differences start to show in terms of their features. Now for battery life, the Bose have up to 18 hours with ANC enabled, and the AirPod Max have 20 hours. But the AirPod Max have two fatal flaws. Now, firstly, they are still using lightning. So when you want to charge them, you have to go and find a flipping lightning cable, which is stupid considering basically all other Apple products have finally transitioned to USB-C. And secondly, this stupid purse thing, this thing, most of the time when I'm listening to and like need to grab some lunch or answer the phone or answer the door to Amazon, like I'm not gonna carefully place these headphones back into their little purse case thing. And you need the case because, well, if you don't, then these headphones do not switch off and their battery drains pretty quickly. So even though the Max have a better battery life, it doesn't really matter if they're gonna drain all that battery life as soon as you put them down. And then we have some features which are unique to the Bose, and these features could be the reason why you buy the Bose over the AirPod Maxes. Now, the Bose QuietComfort Ultra headphones support Qualcomm's Apps X adaptive codec and Snapdragon sound, and these features unlock lossless, so higher quality, low latency audio over Bluetooth. Now, I made a video about this recently, but however stupid this sounds, if you use Apple Music on an Android phone that supports these features, you'll be able to listen to your music in much higher quality than someone with an iPhone and a pair of Apple Max headphones. It's just crazy. Now, these features are exclusive to those phones which support it. And of course, like I've said, unsurprisingly, iPhone doesn't support it. And you just outright cannot listen to lossless audio on a set of Apple headphones until the Vision Pro comes out next year, that is. Now, the Bose also has a shortcut button which you can use to hear the battery level, change the immersive audio settings, access your voice assistant, or even control Spotify. You can also connect two devices at once on the Bose with the multi-point connection features. And I love this feature because you can actually hear audio from two sources at the same time. And the Bose also have Google Fast Pair, which helps with pairing on an Android device. Now with the AirPod Maxes, it will automatically switch between devices like iPad, iPhone, Mac, all the things, but it doesn't always work the way you expect it to. So I always kind of know that I might have to head into the Bluetooth settings and just mess around with the settings, which isn't great if someone's calling you and you're trying to pick up. And then we have the immersive audio, which is Bose's technology that will take a track and will separate individual instruments and kind of position them around you. Immersive. but. In my testing, it makes tracks sound like they've been made in a big room with just more reverb. I'm not really a fan when artists mix their music, they really sort of spend a long time balancing everything to make it sound good. So I'm not a fan of some like technology taking over and going, oh, hey, actually, I'm gonna add more reverb to the vocals to make them sound bigger. And the drums, I'm gonna move them over here and the guitars are gonna go over there. It just doesn't sit right with me. So I end up switching this off, but what I am a fan of for both pairs of headphones are watching Dolby Atmos content or listening to music that has been made for Dolby Atmos and spatial audio. Now this content 
can sound incredible, particularly the AirPod Maxes when you pair them with an Apple TV. And you can actually sit there and watch a movie wearing these headphones and it sounds like you have a full home theater system, like including like head tracking. So as you turn your head, the virtual speakers stay in their position. It is, it is really, really good. So broadly speaking, both of these headphones provide the same sound quality, same noise cancellation, but when you dig into their features, support for lossless audio, USB-C, and a battery that doesn't drain unless you carry the silly Apple purse around with you, the Bose do look like the better headphones here. So thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, all of the things. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.